Your Grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I am not your enemy. The dead are the enemy. The dead. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for my Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 1 Plot Leak Breakdown video. Now that I have read the entire plot leak, I want to start giving my thoughts on each episode. I don't know how many of you were subscribed to my channel last season, but I plan on breaking down the plot leak just like I did with Season 7's. As soon as the Season 7 plot leak hit the internet, I made my first video where I just read everything that the leak said. Then I made breakdown videos for each episode, where I went scene by scene and just gave some of my thoughts. When I did those videos, I invited a Dawn of Ice and Fire on my channel last year to go over the plot leak with me, but this year, I'm just going to do it by myself. I had plans of bringing someone else on here to give another perspective on these things, but I just don't have the time to wait and hope my schedule aligns with someone else's. I kind of need to get these done soon, that way I can move on to other content. I want to get back to predictions and theories, so hopefully I can finish these videos by the end of the weekend. I do want to say something before I begin. Most of the things I'm going to say in these videos will be based on my opinions and speculation. We haven't had a whole bunch of evidence from the filming locations this year. Only so many photos and videos have leaked, so we still don't know too much about how Season 8 will unfold. It will be kind of tricky trying to discredit certain things in this leak because no one knows what all will happen next season, but I will try to use what evidence I have so far from what spoilers have come out already. I won't spend too much time trying to pick apart all the dialogue in this leak because it's not like someone has a tape recorder on the set for us to know what will or won't be said. I have no idea what the characters will say to each other next season, so most of the dialogue in the leak could be right for all I know. But if it sounds too stupid or out of place, then of course I will say something about that. So without further ado, let's get started. Season 8 Episode 1 began with Beric and Tormund arriving at Castle Black to warn everyone there about what happened at Eastwatch by the Sea. When Beric and Tormund got to Castle Black, Beric tells Tormund to go south while Beric stays with Lord Commander Ed. Basically, as soon as Tormund leaves, the Army of the Dead show up and attack Castle Black, while the Night King and the rest of his army head for the Last Hearth. This first scene raised a few red flags for me right away, because according to other reports, the first scene will not take place at Castle Black. I made a video about a month ago, and it was based on a report that came out that said the first scene will be in Winter Town, which is right outside of Winterfell. If that report is true, then it pretty much discredits the entire leak, but it doesn't mean some of these things won't happen still. I do think it makes sense for Tormund and Beric to go to Castle Black next. As we all know, Beric and Tormund were standing on top of the wall when it was attacked. The Night King brought down a big portion of the wall that was connected to Eastwatch by the Sea, and when the wall came down, it tore down all the stairs that led to the ground. So Beric and Tormund might not be able to climb down the wall at Eastwatch anymore now that the staircase is gone. I don't think there was an elevator system there either, and even if there was, it would have fell with the wall anyway. I think Beric and Tormund will need to walk along the top of the wall until they get to a castle that has something in place for them to get down. Since most of the castles have been out of commission for a very long time, they might not be able to get down until they get to Castle Black. If they are stuck up there until then, their first scene should be at Castle Black. But it might not be the first scene of the show because, as I said, the first scene should be at Winter Town near Winterfell. I also don't think it makes much sense for the Night King to have any of his army go to Castle Black first. There are only a few dozen men at Castle Black, so it's a very small target, and it's completely out of the Night King's way of heading further south. Now, obviously, we don't know exactly where the Night King is heading next, but I don't think he cares about Castle Black now that he's already through the wall. I think he should be moving to bigger targets in the north, instead of worrying about 40 men that is 150 miles away from Eastwatch by the Sea. I think Beric and Tormund will go to Castle Black simply because they have no other way of getting down, unless a closer castle has stairs or an elevator safe enough to use still. But I don't think Castle Black will be attacked right away, and I don't think this will be the first scene anyway. I believe the report that said it will be at Wintertown, so with that being said, I think this first scene is incorrect. The next scene says Bran is in the Godswood, and he asks the Maester how long he has been in his vision. The Maester said a few hours, but Bran doesn't remember seeing anything, so he thinks something is wrong. 
I really don't have much to say about this. There is no way to know if this will happen or not right now. I find it strange that Bran would have been at the Weirwood Tree for hours, but he hasn't seen anything. Bran has usually always been able to see something when he tries, but who knows? Maybe the Night King is able to affect his visions even more now that he doesn't have the wall blocking him. I don't think this scene will happen like this, but just because I don't agree with it doesn't mean it's false. The next scene is where Daenerys, Jon, and everyone else arrives at Winterfell's gate. This is when Sansa is looking at Daenerys suspiciously, and Tyrion notices they are reinforcing the walls. This scene doesn't sound too crazy because as we all know, Jon and Daenerys are going to Winterfell, and I'm sure people will be looking at her suspiciously or cautiously. Everyone did tell Jon not to go greet with her, but he went anyway, and now he's bringing her and her dragons to Winterfell, so I'm sure there will be some tension when they arrive. I think we can all pretty much agree to that. It also makes sense that Winterfell is reinforcing their walls. We have already seen tons of photo evidence that proves they are doing this. Bran saw the Night King bring down the wall because he sent the ravens to Eastwatch to spy on the Night King's army. This is also the same scene where Jon and Arya are reunited. Jon and Arya hug and Jon says, so you did stick them with the pointy end. Personally, I thought that was kind of a corny thing to say, but I have no idea what Jon will say to Arya when he sees her again. I am hoping their reunion is a little bit more emotional than this. I would prefer if they were able to meet again alone, so they can focus on their reunion even more. But once again, just because I don't want it to happen this way doesn't mean it won't. Their reunion could happen like this, but I hope not. After this, they all go into the hall and Jon tells everyone that he's now serving Daenerys Targaryen. This makes everyone angry and Sansa is shocked. Now we know Sansa already knows Jon did this because she said that to Littlefinger, so it doesn't make much sense that Sansa would be shocked when hearing this. Unless she is shocked because he said this in front of all the other lords. But they would have to find out how their relationship is working sometime anyway. If Jon does say this in front of every northern lord, I bet it will cause some problems. We know they do not like Targaryens, and they were already mad that Jon was going south to meet Daenerys anyway. So if he comes back saying he bent the knee to her, I could see things getting ugly because of it. Lord Royce, Glover, and probably even Lyanna Mormont may have a few choice words for Jon when and if he announces this. So this doesn't sound too crazy either. It also says Jon will try to calm everyone down by explaining how much Daenerys has helped him already. She brought her armies, dragons, and even sacrificed a dragon by saving him north of the Wall. If tensions would rise and people would start questioning why Jon brought Daenerys to Winterfell, he probably would say some things like this, because they are true. It also says Sam asks Bran when he plans on telling Jon the truth about his parents, and Bran says not right now because of the tensions being so high. Obviously, I don't know if it will happen exactly like this, but I expected this reveal to be delayed. We know the show loves to draw these kind of things out for as long as possible. I don't expect Bran to tell Jon the moment he sees him, but I'm sure he will try to tell him when they have a moment alone. The next scene was with Cersei and Kyburn, and this is when Kyburn takes Cersei under the Red Keep and reveals a bunch of wildfire underneath the city. I actually really like this scene. I have always suspected there was more wildfire under King's Landing, and we all know that's one of Cersei's best weapons. I don't think she will ever bend the knee or hand over the city. She probably would try to go out Mad King style if push comes to shove, so I think we could see something like this next season. I wouldn't be surprised if Kyburn knew where more wildfire was, or at the very least, he might be working on making some himself. There might not be a scene where Kyburn takes Cersei below the ground to show her more wildfire, but I bet they will have some saved away for the end of the season when King's Landing is attacked. We know they have been building an enormous set for King's Landing, and some of the set will be destroyed and burned, so we should see a great battle in the city next season, and hopefully there is some wildfire involved. The next scene said Euron arrives in Essos to pick up the Golden Company. I really don't have any issue with this because we all know Euron already left at the end of Season 7 to go get them, so he should be arriving at the beginning of the season. I won't really go into the dialogue in this scene either because there is no way to know what Euron and the commander of the Golden Company will say to each other. They might talk about the dragons or they might not, who really knows. There is also a scene that says Jaime meets with Bronn outside of the city and he tells him he's leaving to go north. If Bronn wants to get paid and survive the winter, he should come and Bronn decides to go with him. We know that's where Jaime's going, but we don't know if he will get Bronn first or not. 
I would like to think he will. Jamie will definitely need the help, and he won't want to travel into enemy territory alone. Broaden wouldn't have much of a reason to stay in King's Landing once Jamie leaves anyway. Jamie was the one that was seeing Braun was paid, so he might want to stay close to him to make sure he still gets what is owed to him. I think this scene does make sense. Jamie will probably find Braun before he gets too far away. Unless Cersei would get to him first. Braun and Cersei are not allowed to film together, but we all know there are ways around that. Although, Jamie and Braun leaving together does sound plausible. The next scene is with Jon and Daenerys in the crypts of Winterfell. They talk about Jon's dead family members, and that leads into a quick conversation about Lyanna and Rhaegar. There is a very good chance this scene could happen. A report came out a while ago that said they were filming in the crypts, and it said there would be multiple scenes down there, and those scenes would take place in episode 1 and 2. It also said some main characters would be involved in those scenes, so it does line up with this leak, but we don't know which main characters will be down there. It could be Jon and Daenerys, and if they do, they probably would talk about Jon's family since this is where people come to pay their respects to their fallen loved ones. Jon and Daenerys are both aware of the story about Rhaegar and Lyanna, so they could talk about that too, especially since Rhaegar is Danny's brother. She probably would have something to say on the matter. And I will not be surprised if we get a scene with Jon and Daenerys down in the crypts of Winterfell, but there is no way to know what they will talk about if they go down there. After this, it says Tyrion is seen alone in a room writing a letter to someone, but it's not revealed who this letter was to. I'm really not too sure about this one. I obviously read the entire leak, and this scene was never referenced again, nor was there any mention of a letter in the later episodes. I know plot leaks do leave several details out in every episode, but there is no other evidence of this happening, so I don't know if this will happen. It probably won't, since it does seem like a plot hole right now. This is also when Tormund arrives at Winterfell's gate, and he seems distressed, and he tells Jon and Daenerys about the Night King and Viserion destroying Eastwatch by the sea. This really doesn't make much sense to me either. Bran saw the Night King destroy the Wall, so Bran should have told everyone what happened so they could warn everyone and prepare for war. As soon as Jon and Daenerys arrive in Winterfell, they should be told about the Night King coming south with the dragon. They shouldn't have to wait for Tormund to arrive from Castle Black to tell everyone. I don't think it will play out like this. I know at the beginning of this leak, Bran said he doesn't remember seeing anything, but I find that hard to believe. Unless Bran is all of a sudden turning into a bad guy and withholding information, it doesn't make sense for him not to warn everyone immediately. I did love the last scene of this episode. It's when the last hearth is attacked and everyone there is turned into whites. I made a video months ago saying I believe this is what will happen. I think the Night King will take out a few castles right below the wall before he gets to Winterfell. This would be a great way to build tension throughout the season by having the Night King's army get bigger and closer episode by episode. There was another report that said Little Ned Umber and Elise Karstark was in Belfast filming. We know Jon was sending them back to their castle, so if we see them again, that means we should see them at the Carhold or the Last Hearth most likely getting attacked, unless they were able to flee back to Winterfell and that's where we see them again. But I would prefer each episode to end with a big cliffhanger by having the Night King take out a few targets to create even more fear throughout the North and mostly the Seven Kingdoms. I haven't seen any evidence that indicates this will happen, but since they brought the two actors back again, there is a good chance something like this could go down. I would love for the episodes to end with attacks from the Night King, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought about episode 1. Do you think most of it makes sense or not? I don't think this episode was too bad. It's mostly just setting things up for where we left off at the end of season 7, so it would be kind of hard to guess this one wrong. But as you can see, there were a few things that I thought sounded off. There is enough evidence and reports out there to let us know some things that will happen but not enough to confirm or deny everything. If you agree or disagree with any of my points or opinions, please put them down below in the comment section. I want to thank all of you for watching the video, and I also want to thank everyone on Patreon that supports the channel. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you very soon. Bye.